think these ones can work super well. If I scale them up ever so slightly, put one of them on six and one of them on seven with a little rotation like that. I really like how that sparkle looks. I think what I might do is just make these work for the outline and then add rotation effects as we pass them. Because these look sick. So we have this. Now we just need to add these to the group and do even more area effects. It's just all I do, but they're just so useful. Let's do this and we can do that. So they stop by the time we get there. Center it on the player. 29. And see as I'm going down the staircase. These are smaller. These are bigger. Smaller length will make it more obvious what is happening. And then we just area rotate a slight very slight rotation here. You can start before they're really visible just to make it look a little bit cooler. There we go. The sparkles are now rotating as we get there. Nice. Now I think behind this object, I'm going to put one of these objects. How wide does it have to be to fill up this block? 30 times. Do we have a black color? No, we don't. Next free, black. Boom. Oh no, it has to be B5, but above the background blocks. That's going to be annoying. If I have this set to group 30 and I make a loop that scales up objects on group 30 by number 30. This is poetic how this has turned out. No center because this is going to center themselves. And then we can just scale back down very slowly. When we loop these two triggers. What should happen? If I place this object in a lot of different places, this block should scale up and down to fill its purpose. What's actually happening here? So these objects are jumping up in scale. I don't really understand why that's happening. It looks so weird. Instead of being black, this could copy the color of the background with less brightness. So I like this idea. It's just very strange. 